and welcome to another week of ECW. We are two weeks away from Midsummer Mayhem, and we are blessed once again with WCW Jamsaw. Jamsaw, how are you today? I'm doing quite well. Thank you for uh, having me again. As always, a pleasure to be sitting next to you at the broadcast table. Um, shit. So we had a very eventful uh, Monday. Um, for the people who mm-hmm. missed out on it, um, how would you describe Monday? Uh, an explosive, uh, an explosive performance by Daniel Bryan uh, getting the twenty four seven championship back to us, and uh, the title hand, uh, finally changing hands. Adam Cole taking his first loss since joining WCW, and it happened to be to Sting. So Sting is our new world heavyweight champion, and we'll be defending that championship against CM Punk, the number one contender at uh, Midsummer Hay. Awesome, Ooh, I'm pumped. Um, so with the with the match cards in front of you, um, how are you seeing this match uh, going ahead? Well, I mean, I, I, I like uh, both uh, competitors. Uh, I do have a soft spot for Carlito because, again, still, I think so far, the match of the year from ECW was uh, Carlito versus uh, Braun Strowman. So I really got to put, I really got to back that horse. Mm-hmm. And he did a very, uh, uh, he had a very underdogish run in uh in uh the in the WWE, so he's uh, had a very successful ECW run as of so far. Indeed, I mean he's been uh, one of your powerhouse players. I think uh, he immediately uh, in his first challenge got that hardcore championship and almost successfully defended it against Braun, and that's no easy task. Correct. So. What's the caliber that she- she- Sheamus brings to uh, the table that, that Carlito should be ready for? Well, pure strength. Uh, he's a beast. He's a very large man, and uh, all it'll take is a big boot or a white noise, and that could put you out for good. Uh, but uh, Carlito's been around for a while. He's wily. He's quick. He's also strong. Uh, he's got almost the perfect balance. So I think as long as he keeps... Uh, it keeps his eyes open, ducks any incoming boots, and uh, avoids a, a white noise. He should be fine. Awesome, awesome. Oh, so we see that uh, Shams Shane, is really focusing on the upper body, uh, which is what he needs uh, when it comes to uh, you know the white noise and whatnot. Um, but again, yeah, he brings that strength that Carlito. Uh, I don't want want to say lacks, but he doesn't have that powerhouse that Seamus has. Exactly. He, do, he doesn't quite have as much full-on strength as uh, Seamus, but uh, he's a, like I said, he's got a mixture of that speed in there, too. So being stronger than a smaller opponent, but also as faster than a, a larger opponent, yep. is almost like the perfect medium. Oh, yeah. And if, oof, and if you've watched his workout videos on YouTube, you know, the man is, the man's huge. The man is strong. Um, I mean, oh, Jesus, it's mind blowing. I mean, but we can't, we can't, uh, knock, knock, knock out Car- Carlito because, uh, you know, uh, I believe his debut, he won the IC title. Um, uh, hardcore, I think, wasn't it? No, no. In the, in the WWE. Oh, in the WWE. Yeah. yeah. Yep. But, you know. Yeah, if, if it wasn't immediately, it was very soon after. Oh, yeah. yes. Yes. And it feels like he's right at home, just going straight for the kendo stick. Now, what oh, is yeah. your well, sure, preferred sure weapon? Uh, I'm, I'm sure his, uh, his, uh, well, I don't know what his preferred weapon, well, his preferred weapon is an apple that he can spit in your <laughs> face. But, uh, um, you know, he he's no stranger to a hardcore match either. Uh, he's wrestled a lot on the indies as well, so he's prepared for just about anything that uh, that ECW can throw at. Right. Again, pretty even keel. He's he's taking quite a beating so far, but still getting back up and still throwing down. Oh yeah, yeah. Ooh, and they're they're both use you using the 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 railing uh, to 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 their advantage, like. Uh, like the people on Mon- Monday night use uh, the steel steps. Exactly. I mean, that's a key factor, especially in ECW. Uh, using the environment to your advantage, uh, 
the environment is a giant weapon at your disposal. Yes. Oh, there it is. I think that might be it. Mm, it's definitely put the hurt on Carlito. I mean, but look at Shame Shame Seamus's health though. Like, like it doesn't seem like he's taking any body damage. No, as much as Carlito has uh, has thrown everything he can at him, it's just odd that uh, Carlito's performance uh, is not as powerful as it was against Strowman. Maybe he wasn't 100 percent. Maybe he's still suffering some injury from that matchup. Mm. But once again, um, if if I lacked to uh, mention it, um, this is bracket one to uh, determine um, the normal contender for Braun Strowman's hard hardcore title at Midsummer Mayhem. Hold on. Okay, good. Um, so bracket one, we're seeing uh, Car Carlito versus Sheamus. Bracket two, we're seeing Chad Gable versus Luke Harper. And bracket three, we're seeing uh, Matt Riddle and Baron Corbin. Um, so who do you see um, take taking uh the, the the win home in bracket one well that's a well, in bracket one like i said I, I was thinking carlita but i'm starting to rethink my position it looks like sheamus is not going to give him the opportunity uh to reface braun Strowman. so uh right there there i already <laughs> lack a little confidence in, in my picks so far mm. yeah um it it it, it seems like in this type of match, he kind of needs to pull, to pull out a miracle. I mean, I don't want to say miracle, but for this be it. No, nope, uh, be yeah, no, because I, I mean, he's he, he he's barely hurt. He's strong. He's fast, and Car 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 Carlito just needs a miracle to pull this off against Sheamus. Or a sledgehammer. <laughs> Ooh, or a sledgehammer. Yes. Oh, until he gets it. That, that sledgehammer did give him at least one good, uh, one good shot at Sheamus. Yeah. Oh! Oh, and the big boot. That's what I was afraid of. Oh. Yeah, and right there is where Sheamus takes it away. That's what I was afraid of. But, I mean, Sheamus did give... Uh, I mean, uh, Carlino did give pretty good at the end. I mean, for the longest time, Sheamus wasn't even damaged. And uh, the last few minutes, he had gotten a pretty close to really hurting. But, uh, you know, once again, Sheamus picks up a well-deserved victory. Um, so, so far we know, uh, so next week, uh, you know, the winners of each bracket will be in a triple threat match to uh, pick out the winner to face Braun Strowman at, at the pay-per-view. Um, so, so far, we know it is Sheamus, uh, which he can pull up a bigger threat to uh, a Braun Strowman as well. Well, definitely. I mean, he's a he's a, a large and in charge individual that can definitely give Braun Strowman a run for his money. And I feel like he's never been a hardcore champion in in, in his in, his entire career, so this could be his first ever hardcore win. That is true. That is true. Up next, having Gable versus Harper. Uh, I had uh, originally said Harper, which I still think will probably come through, but given my last prediction, I'm not quite as confident. So, you know, um, yeah, so like like, like I was, uh, so Luke Harper is one of the newest signees, um, and Chad... Ch Chad was, I believe, my top ten pick. I don't, I don't want to say he was a top five. Um, yeah, I believe so too. And he was, I don't want to say he was stu stupid enough, but he, but he, along with um, uh, Shel Sh Shelton, attacked uh, attacked John Cena when he when they first showed up, and uh, we saw the video package uh, before the show started, um, and the the the. The medic uh, said that Chad and Kurt are cleared for uh, for action tonight, so they are hurt, hurting. But if you put that into account, when John jumped Kurt and Chad, uh, will that change up the direction that Luke could 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 win this match in? Well, I mean, I think it just gives him more of an advantage, really, because uh, Chad has already gone through the gone through the motions and, and gotten his ass kicked a little bit so 
any any time that uh, a superstar gets into an altercation pre-match, they're not going in 100. percent There is a higher uh, higher chance that uh, the opposition will win. Mm -hmm. I mean, would 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 you prefer prefer Luke to uh, to uh, Chad or Chad to uh, Luke? Uh, right now I would prefer Luke just because, uh, like I said, Chad and Shelton and uh, Kurt joining up, joining forces uh, as a stable. It's a fantastic stable, but it is a heel stable. They're not really uh, like American heroes, you know what I mean? They're they're very much the I'm better than you uh, type faction uh, that uh, people love to hate. Right. And we talked that Chad went went for Sting's per, per, preferred we, weapon, and he used a bat against Luke. Yeah, well, that's a smart move. Like I said, this is ECW, so I think I was uh, up against the larger opponent. And, uh, especially in this case, having already taken a beating earlier in the night, then you need an equalizer. Yes. So speaking of the video, uh, since now it's... Uh, been a, a proof that Kurt is not the not the ring le leader. Who, who who do you think it is? Honestly, it's really hard to say. I mean, it could be uh, it could be anybody really. Uh, with the genius that is Eric Bischoff, it, it might even be Eric. You know, like he might be pulling the puppet strings. It could be uh, it could be uh, someone like uh, an old school superstar like Papa Shango that's somehow controlling them all. Who knows? I mean, we do got that when it comes to Monday with uh, the DOD who they keep breaking the timeline. You know, they keep make, make, making su superstars tra transport from one turnbuckle to the other. Exactly. Well, I mean, keep in mind, I mean, like, we do have some supernaturals on our, uh, on our roster, but you've also got the broken Matt Hardy. Maybe he shattered some part of the universe and brought something back with him who knows Ooh, touche now we see luke really focusing on staying on the outside um you mean gable yes 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 sorry gable <laughs> yes um i know he has the bat but he doesn't have the makeup so. <laughs> <laughs> um so like it it seems like uh being a, a jump by uh john just really hasn't i mean he isn't he, he isn't really doing that much damage to uh, Luke Harper. Oh, definitely. Harper seems to uh, uh, have a second wind uh, and uh, really putting the hurt on Gable. So, uh, so far, my prediction is coming true. But, I mean, all it takes is a couple of whacks of that to the head and that could all change. Right. Ooh, there it is. Uh, and I guess not. A, okay, at least one of my predictions has come right. <laughs> oh boy. So now, shit. So now we see. So we know two of the three men. Oh, Chad's not. Oh, punching the ref in that with that call. So now we see. Uh, the two of the three men that 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 will be in it are Sheamus and Luke. Um, between those two, who do you see winning it? Between those two, probably Sheamus. I think just because he's got a little bit more experience than uh, than Luke. But Luke's a wild card, so I wouldn't put him. I wouldn't put it past him. But I mean, this is what it comes down to, too. If Riddle beats Corbin, then I'm probably going to put my money on uh, Riddle because he's the only one that's actually beat Strowman so that far. That is true. That is true. But, but between the men that have made it right to the finals, if Matt makes it, then Matt will be the prime choice. But in, but if that is the case, which is the underdog between Sheamus and Luke? Probably Luke, I think. Okay. Because, I mean, like I said, Matt's got professional training. Sheamus has been with the WWE for years and years and years. Uh, Harper is the freshest and the newest face, you know. And, uh, to me, that makes you the underdog automatically. Right. Ooh, there we go. So it seems like Matt is focusing on the upper body, um, which is what he needs to uh, work, work, 
what he needs to work on is the uh, 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 head and neck, you know, for, for his finisher, his pile driver finisher. Exactly. Quick cover. Picking him up. There we go. He's awesome. really going for some suplexes. He's throwing him like he's nothing, though. I mean, I mean, uh, Baron well, you gotta is no. Admit, he's got, he's got some, some huge upper body strength. He's built like a gorilla. Oh yeah. A very white gorilla. <laughs> the albino gorilla. <laughs> but the question that you all, 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 always ask is, what is the riddle for Matt Riddle? Yeah, it's a. Uh... How many riddles could Matt Riddle riddle if Matt Riddle could riddle riddles? And that is the question of all of ECW in 2020. Indeed. So, if Matt is your choice, uh, what does he need to look out for when it comes to a man like Baron? End of days. He's got to look out for that for sure. Um look out for sneaky tactics because I mean Baron Corbin is not one to play a fully uh, 100% above board right. uh, so look out for low blows uh, sneaky roll ups uh, play covers. impossible yep. yeah. just about anything you can think of Corbin would do to further his career right oh, and we know that Baron was a, uh, a golden glove boxing uh, a, a champion so you gotta watch out for those hands he has oh yeah for sure well i mean just punches his big boot is uh like i said end of days he he is a large and in charge individual yeah what's up with sting and the really presence, for that brother? bat <laughs> everybody's doing their tribute to sting tonight yes. it seems. Uh, they're all happy for his win so they're all uh paying tribute and once 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 again we uh Congrats, uh, mon, 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 Monday for 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 bringing us a match such such as Sting versus uh, Cole that was just a phenomenal match. Oh yeah, it was fantastic. Believe me, I'm not disappointed. I mean, part of me is I would have loved to see Cole continue his reign, but it's it's just incredible to be able to see Sting holding a uh, big gold title again. Oh yes, and we the uh, under. The underlings to the uppers are uh, are uh, all paying their own homage for uh, Sting because he because he is a legend. So we just want to say once again, congrats to Sting for bringing home the gold. Indeed, indeed, congrats, Sting, and congrats, DDP, for managing uh, yes. uh, the new world title holder. Yes. So should should we expect him in 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 Sting's match every every single corner every in his yeah, corner every single match gonna be, he's going to be in his corner for every single match that he can be I mean there are certain match types like Hell in a Cell you know <laughs> you cannot have a manager involved but uh, any match that he can be in Sting's corner he will be and uh, one way or the other he's going to be backstage supporting right And we see Baron pull pulled out the victory. So that's uh, you know, that's uh, was totally unexpected. So again, two out of three of my predictions have fallen through. <laughs> yes, but you know, so now that we know the full-on trip tri triple threat match, does Baron make you change up your prediction? Well, uh, again, well, yeah, because Matt Riddle was uh, who I had picked to, to win all together. I still want, in this case, I want to go back to Sheamus, because uh, I think between the two previous, Sheamus was my pick. Uh, although I can't put it past Baron, man. Like, he beat my 24-7 champion. He actually retained, I think, for, uh, he, until until Drew took over, he was the lead in the 24-7 uh, championship title picture. Uh, so he, he is like the wild card. He might actually pull it out. He works well under pressure, and that's how he got away with becoming uh, King Foreman the King of the Ring tournament. It wasn't from uh, from being the best, really. <laughs> it yeah, was true. from playing the system. And up next is our 24-7 championship. It looks like Kurt Angle is uh, challenging Daniel Bryan. Yep. Um, and but, I believe uh, there's a certain stipulation that you said that this 
This is the last opportunity for Kurt to go after the 24-7 championship, at least for, for quite some time. Yep, but this is a special match. This is the Kurt Angle in Invitational, where there's no ring out. You cannot leave the ring, and you have five minutes uh, to uh, tap Kurt out. If you if you can last the five uh, or or tap Kurt, Kurt, Kurt out in five minutes, then Dan Daniel Bryan will uh, retain the 24-7 championship. But if Kurt does, uh, then Kurt brings it home and he keeps it. So if you look in the corner, your top right corner, there's five minutes. And they... Yep, already going right for the submission, Daniel Bryan. <laughs> yep. And that is what actually took, took home the, the title on Monday. That's true. That's exactly how he tapped Miz out. I mean, it might be a little bit quick, but it... <laughs> I mean, even with the Miz, I was entirely surprised at how quickly he was able to, to cinch that in. That Miz's legs didn't look like they took that much damage. And then all, but I mean, it was the same thing with Sting, too. When Sting won with his Scorpion Deathlock, uh, there, there, there was no damage on uh, on Cole's legs when, when he locked that in. Wow. I, he, he's... No! Wow. What the hell was that? Daniel Bryan dominating in under was 45 <laughs> seconds. That was 45 seconds. That was 45 seconds. It wasn't the shortest match in history, oh but it was my, pretty damn close. Oh my god. In ECW hit history, that is the shortest. In, e, in ECW 2020, that is the shortest. Here is your winner. Oh my Daniel god. Bryan. The hell was Daniel that? Bryan, one step closer to being the longest reigning 24-7 champion. And uh, if this is any indication, he may continue to dominate. I mean, that was incredibly quick. Oh my god, 45 fucking seconds. <laughs> I was expecting longer, but congrats to Monday night's uh, Dan, Dan, Daniel Bryan. I will give it to him. Thank you. I will... Thank you. And uh, my condolences to Kurt Angle. That was bullshit. <laughs> that was bullshit. Kurt, oh my lord. Oh, I, I, I guess... Uh, I don't want to make excuses, but he was jumped prior. I mean, I don't want to make it. That is true. I don't want to. But is true. but Daniel Bryan, he uh he did he he did two two finishers, and that was that was <laughs> yeah, it. That, the only thing he did was two finishers. That was a uh, yeah, very interesting. Not quite as bad as my cage matches, but <sighs> but nope we we do give. Give, give, give to you. So we will announce uh, later tonight who will be facing um, Daniel Bryan. We know it won't be Kurt. No, <laughs> it won't be Kurt. It won't be Kurt. But congrats again, claps to uh, Daniel you. Bryan. Daniel, that was impressive. Thank you, Daniel Bryan for keeping the gold coming home. Oh boy. So next up, we see so two signees, two recent signees, uh, MVP and Mr. Kennedy. Now, were you a fan of uh, both both these, these men, or were you not a fan of them when they were in the WWE? I was a fan of both of them. Uh, I really liked uh, Mr. Kennedy's entrance with the mic coming down. I always thought that was really cool. Uh, and MVP, uh, like I just loved his uh, his attitude. Like he he was cocky, but in the right way. You know, like just his little taunt where he does his basketball shot. Yep. I always love that. Now, we... even his entrance with that big blow up. Uh, oh yeah. Hallway that he... Oh yeah, that 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 was pretty cool. Um, now we we know that MVP was was not one one of the great uh U U S champs, but was but but was he a good or great uh champion? I think he was a good champion. I don't think he he ever had the opportunity to be a really great champion, but okay. I think he was a really good champion. Okay. We know his his big biggest threat was Matt Hardy when when it came to his U.S. title. That was his biggest feud that he had. Yep. Which Matt is signed here, so I mean, I just hope we we see one of the see them go at it again, at least once, at least once. Indeed. Oh, drop a, dropping a DDT right to the canvas on MVP. So far, Kennedy is manhandling the hell out of him. Yep.
Picking him up. There you go. Hard backbreaker on the knee of Mr. Kennedy. Oh, Jesus. First clothesline, knocking him to the ground. That's going to knock the wind right out of you. See, I, it feels like that Mr. K is trying to um, make a name for himself here. It seems like he's... Maybe. It seems like he's like... He, he he's he's manhandling MVP. Yeah, maybe he's not Mr. Kennedy anymore. Maybe you should call him Special K. <laughs> oh Lord! Oh oh, reversal, nice. Yeah, MVP not not going down without a fight. No. Nope. Turning the tables and putting a good headlock on Kennedy, who kicks out of the submission. Mm-hmm. Who? Oh. oh. Reverse. Misses the big clothesline. Kennedy with a standing drop kick. So what did you think? Sure the, so what did you think when Mr. Ken, Ken Kennedy was signed to uh to uh, the ECW? I was kind of excited because I hadn't seen him in the longest time, and I was really glad to see uh, see him back in action because I didn't like the way that he was, that he had left the WWE. And honestly, I didn't really see any of the independents where he was fighting on, uh, so I didn't get to continue with his career. I'm not a fan of TNA, so when he became yep. Mr. Anderson on TNA, I wasn't really watching it. Right. And it sucks, too, because a lot of great talent has come out of TNA, but it's just not my style. You know, I, I never liked the six-sided ring. I never liked to... Uh, uh, a lot of the management for it for mm -hmm. a long time, the mm -hmm. way that it was being booked. Are we taking shots at TNA to uh, to uh, get get a future match between the TNA? Well, I'm not not really taking shots at them. <laughs> I mean, I just I don't enjoy their product. I like a lot of their talent. Yep. <laughs> yep. Know, yep. I'll steal from you, but yep. <laughs> I'm not gonna, I don't really want to work with. <laughs> <laughs> we like you, but come on. I, I don't I don't like you. I like your talent. <laughs> yes. There we go. It's it's like when you're hanging out with a uh, w with a buddy who has a buddy just yep. because you like his buddy better. <laughs> yep. That's, that's kind of how it's like. Oh TNA. Oh, there we go. Yeah, signature uh, signature MVP move right there. Oh yes. It seems like he has one. So. What's he doing? Hey, looks like he's he's oh. coming to the crowd. Oh. Balling. Dropping that elbow on Mr. Uh, Mr. Kennedy, or Special K, as we should say. Oh no! Boom! Knocked, Knocked him, him out. out. MVP proving his dominance uh, in in the league right now. Oh boy! All in. Ooh, so oh. that was our main event, and uh, God, we had such a great showing. Um, but I, but but I will say the the Here match of the night was. When Daniel Bryan beat Kurt Angle in 45 seconds. <laughs> All 45 seconds of it. Yeah. That was. Uh, but yep. Um, yeah. So do you guys? Do you do you have any part, part parting words for 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 the ECW crowd? Just that uh, enjoy. Uh, keep enjoying the product. We love seeing you out here. We look forward to seeing you on Monday night for WCW. And of course, don't forget in two weeks, uh, Midsummer uh, Midsummer Mayhem mm -hmm. will be live streamed. So enjoy that. You can always watch it afterwards on uh, YouTube. You see, even though we live stream it both to Twitch and YouTube, it will be available on YouTube uh, for consumption post event. And again, if you guys want to watch it live and you find that the time that we normally do it, usually around noon on a Saturday, is not good enough, you want us to try to do it in the evening or something, we can make that work. We just want to hear from you. What would work best for you guys to get you engaged, to get you to watch live? If you can let us know, we would very much appreciate it. Yes, and with that being said, we will see you guys in the next one. Peace.